Hey everyone, this is Jason, and what we're going to be doing today is setting up a virtual host on MAP on the Macintosh. As a disclaimer, be aware of Google Chrome and what it does. I went ahead and wrote a description. I don't want to take up video time for this. So read the description on Google Chrome right below. So what I have here is my local host. If I have current, storefront, and public. So this is a little store that I was making. Uh, through the Zen framework, a little tutorial I was working on. And I don't get any CSS and I don't get any images because they're all relative paths. So if you look at this, you look at my code right here, CSS, reset, main, they're not an absolute path, so they don't show up. They're all relative to index.php, which is in that public folder. And the problem is, is my base is at localhost, not at public up here. So I need to create a virtual host that basically makes a virtual host at public so everything will work. All these relative paths will actually find the CSS and the images. So there are three things we can do here. On your map right here we have preferences. Go ahead and if you can change your Apache port to 80. Now the reason we do this is because 80 is a default port on the Macintosh that's used by your main Apache that comes when you buy your Macintosh. Now, if you're using MAMP, there's a good chance you're not using that main Apache server anymore because you have MAMP. So you can go ahead and use 80. You can go, it's, it will save you a little bit of time and I'll show you where later on. So once that's done, we need to jump into our main configuration file for Apache. So I have MAMP right here. I have my, this is where my HT docs is. I have my configuration file right here click that Apache HTTPD configuration so let's open that guy now I have my file right here you want to make sure that it's listening to port 80 on there and if you change it the way I just showed you it will go ahead and update this file for you so we're gonna go all the way down to the bottom here where virtual hosting is actually commented out it's just a better place to put it so I want to go ahead and uncomment out name virtual host storefront. That's what I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it storefront and then we need to go ahead and set up virtual host a little bit more. So we have virtual host right here. You can see the opening and closing tags of it right here. And this is for storefront and inside it we're going to have the document root and the server name. Now, there are a bunch of different options you can put in here like your error log path, your email address, server email, and our document root is necessary. We're going to point it to the folder where our index file is. And then our server name is the same name that we decide to choose. So basically you're seeing three instances here of the word storefront or whatever name you're going to be choosing. So I'm going to go ahead and file save that. Close it. So that's two steps. We still have one more step and that is to edit our host file. Now if you look on my desktop right here, these two files are actually hidden I have a little cool widget right here that you press hide, show, it will show or hide hidden folders. I prefer doing it this way over to the command line, which a lot of tutorials actually show. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm going to go to my Macintosh hard drive here. I have a folder called etc. I'm going to go in there. I have a file called host. I'm going to drag this into TextMate right here. And this is where the host database is. This is where localhost, as you can read here, configures the loopback interface when it's booting. So it knows already to look for the main local host, but it doesn't know to look for storefront. So I have it right here. Now this was commented out before like that, but I have storefront right here. So whatever you're going to call it, you want to make sure you have the 127.001 with storefront right here. So I'm going to go ahead and file save it. It's going to always ask you for your password just like it would in the command line. And I want to go ahead and close that. So now I'm all done, right? Well, make sure you restart your servers, otherwise it's not going to pick up on all the changes you just made. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. And we'll close this while we're doing it. And we're going to start them back up. And now we're going to go back over here to Safari. Now, once again, if I type in localhost and press enter, I have my same localhost, storefront, public. And obviously it still doesn't work because I'm basing my my base path is localhost so I want to change my base path to storefront well let's type in now HTTP storefront press enter 
And there we go. This is the exact same page you just saw, but the CSS and the images are working now. So one last thing I'm going to show you how to do is what if you want another one? I have, I have something called, this is just for convenience here, I have my music albums right here. So public, these are some music albums that I have right here. You can edit, delete, do whatever you want. Now, obviously it still works, but I don't like having to go into my local host and jump into current folder, music albums folder, public folder. It's kind of a pain in the butt. I'd rather just type in the word music albums and it'll go automatically here. So in order to do that, it's very, very easy. In fact, you should already know how to do this, but just in case you want a refresher, and just really have it built into you. We're gonna go all the way back down here and we're gonna go ahead and uncomment all these guys right here and we're gonna uncomment here. So name virtual host music albums, do the same thing down here with the path to the music albums, save this, and once again, we're gonna go back into our host file and I'm gonna uncomment this right here, save it, and it doesn't ask for a password because I was just here. Close that, <clears throat> stop servers, Start them up again. Oops, we don't want Google Chrome. Read below why. And now we're gonna type in HTTP music albums. And there we go. It's right there, ready for us to use. And as you can tell, everything works just as it normally would. Now you just don't have to. So one last thing before I finish, I told you to change this to port 80. Why did I do that? Because we had localhost at 888, so basically, Every single time you'd have to do 8888. Now, this is going to take me to some random web page here. I don't need to go there. Now, the reason you don't want to do that is because if I had storefront and I kept the four eights right there, every time I named something, I would have to add the eights to it. Because I chose 80, I just type in storefront by itself and it works. So that saves a little bit of extra typing on your end. And that's basically it. Um, if you guys know a solution to the Google Chrome issue, please feel free to comment on it. And if there's anything else you want to add about other um, permissions you can add to your own virtual host, feel free to add them in. And thank you very much for your time. Take care.